A Maryland man who received the first ever pig heart transplant has died. David Bennett's groundbreaking surgery happened in early January, but after making great progress for nearly two months, doctors say his health began to decline. Abajoy Burnett is live at the University of Maryland Medical Center downtown with more on this historic procedure and reaction from the doctors who performed it. Abajoy? Hi, Denise. Well, doctors say the patient, Mr. David Bennett, was making really good progress. In fact, we saw images of him getting physical therapy, but just a few days ago, his condition started to take a turn for the worse. His organs started to have problems. Doctors say he died two months after surgery. David Bennett made history at the University of Maryland Medical Center as the first patient in the world to get a genetically modified pig heart. Before the surgery, Bennett was gravely ill. He had terminal heart disease and was ineligible for a conventional transplant. Earlier in the year, his son spoke about this last-ditch effort. It's, it seemed like a win, a win-win. First of all, his prognosis, I didn't think that he was going to be able to make it out of the hospital given the severity of his heart failure. So the potential to give him more life and the quality of life that he saw uh, was favorable. And then the fact that provide hope for others. Bennett died Tuesday, two months after his surgery. Doctors explained the timeline of the changes. Until day 45 or 50, he was doing very well, everything. But, but you know, off and on, he was having... Uh, infectious episodes. Professor Gregory Dolan has a medical and a law degree. He reminds us that highly experimental procedures like this one could help with future medical advancements. You know, the very first human to human heart transplant also didn't last a particularly long time. Uh, and, and now we have people living for decades. The University of Maryland medical community said they are devastated after Mr. Bennett's passing. His legacy may now help future generations. He was very brave and uh, he, he clearly indicated that if he didn't live long enough, he just wanted to be sure we could learn something and I think that is really admirable. The hospital said Mr. Bennett was able to communicate with his family in his final hours. Live tonight at the University of Maryland Medical Center, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.